That was Mike Knight reporting. Meanwhile, here at home, weather not so bad. Actually, a gorgeous day outside, in fact. Storm Team Protofor Meteorologist Gunnar Consol is tracking what we can expect heading into tomorrow's forecast. Yeah, so right now we're looking at a quiet Saturday night. Not much happening, just some light southwest winds that are continuing to bring that mild weather here in the tri-state. So we are going to be expecting that warm air continuing to move in. So things are going to be warm through the overnight. Temperatures right now are really toasty. These are warmer than our average highs, and it's nighttime, so we're pretty warm for this time of the year, this time of the day, at 76 in Evansville, 74 in Clay. The coolest temperature you can spot here is 68 in Washington. Now, we are looking at some showers on radar, but not too much. We aren't expecting that much shower activity. This is almost exactly what a 20% chance for rain looks like in reality just a very light rain moving through parts of hamilton white wabash and edwards county so we're not looking at too much of that shower coverage most of that shower activity just outside of fairfield moving towards you so let's loop this real quick just to show you the past 30 minutes so you can see that more moderate rain pushing towards fairfield right now not really impacting us too much unless you are you know, going to take the trash out. Maybe the dog needs to let out one more time. Albion, the rain's going to be picking up in your neck of the woods here, too. And that rain is also on the way towards Allendale and Mount Carmel. So something to keep in mind as we head through the rest of the evening, just some light shower activity. What really is going to dominate the forecast for the tri-state is the warm weather. So temperatures dropping not that much tonight. This will definitely lead to some houses to not cool off appropriately because we don't have those windows. The windows being open aren't going to cool off that living space quite as much because temperatures only dropping to 67. Now we have a sunny day expected for tomorrow, but we could be seeing some shower activity towards the end. So let's take you to 4 p.m. tomorrow and we're dealing with dry conditions here. We got a threat at for severe weather, a two out of five in the west of the tri-state. Strong storms expected into Sunday evening, but as they approach the tri-state, they are going to weaken upon approach, not really producing all that much other than some shower activity. But then as we go towards the wee morning hours of Monday, we could still see some of that shower activity continuing through the rest of the day. Some of those thunderstorms could fire up, but no threat for severe weather expected. So we can expect our Sunday to be dry, our Monday featuring some scattered storms, but then we return to mostly sunny conditions for Tuesday. But it's going to be a little bit more like summer with isolated chances for a rogue shower here or there Tuesday and Wednesday before we see more thunder activity expected into the end of the week.